This is your Weather Extreme video for Monday, December the 28th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Welcome to Model Madness as we are flipping and flopping since yesterday and some model changes. All right, let's get right to some sky cams. How about this shot down across Birmingham? And the theme here is all the sky cam sites you're going to see this morning are reporting 32 degrees. So that's downtown Birmingham. How about looking out over the lights of Gadsden? So it's a beautiful shot out there, and they're also 32 degrees up on top of the mountain. And then down in Tuscaloosa, and they're also reporting 32. Now, those values are at our SkyCam sites. Cold front moving through the area is going to be reinforcing things, reinforcing that cold air. And as a result, we're not going to see much out of the lower to mid 40s across central Alabama today. In the upper atmosphere, there's that big trough that's been wreaking havoc uh, since uh, the storm just before Christmas. And it is finally edging to the east coast. But in the meantime, notice what's happening out there at the west coast. We have another short wave or another uh, trough that's going to be coming our way. Temperature-wise across the country, it is still rather chilly. Just like yesterday, the warmer spots are along the west coast of the United States, along the east coast of the United States, primarily the mid-Atlantic states down to Florida, and along the Gulf Coast. Otherwise, most spots are in the 30s or below. Across central Alabama, uh, mentioned SkyCam sites are all 32 degrees this morning, those Gadsden, Tuscaloosa, and Birmingham. But uh, most spots dancing somewhere around 32 degrees, a little bit cooler up there in the Tennessee River Valley where they're in the upper 20s. They're already experiencing uh, the effects of that colder air. And again, I don't think temperatures are going to get much for Birmingham, for example, much above about uh, 43, 44 today for the highs. Uh, across the radar, across the southeastern U.S., clear as a bell. And uh, our uh, winter weather advisories and warnings and watches have all kind of uh, wound down just a little bit, especially in the Great Lakes area. But there's still a number of uh, advisories up in uh, from the Great Lake, the eastern Great Lakes, I should say, uh, across New England. And a couple of winter storm watches down in the uh, southern uh, New Mexico and down in uh, south uh, central Texas uh, as well. QPF wise, uh, we're still looking at this next storm system to be in the Gulf, uh, the surface low. So the bulk of the rain will stay along the Texas and Louisiana coast. However, up here, it looks like we're going to get on the order of about a half to three quarters of an inch, perhaps uh, some heavier spots getting uh, close to one inch. All right, let's take a look at the 06Z GFS model run. And this is the surface map for today, and you can see that colder air getting reinforced. Uh, again, with the highs not going to get uh, much out of the mid-40s at the max. And uh, that's uh, a good, uh, oh, 7 to 8 degrees colder than yesterday. In the upper atmosphere, uh, by Tuesday, we're going to be under a ridge. Now, things have slowed down just a little bit. Uh, the model, uh, the GFS, has slowed things down. And that's, that's good because I think that's going to remove much in the way of any chances for frozen precipitation on Wednesday morning. Uh, but also, it's changed enough that it doesn't look like we're going to see much in the way of uh, snow flurries on uh, New Year's uh, Day. By Tuesday, uh, the uh, surface high settles in, and you can see that it is uh, uh, fairly chilly, but not uh, quite as cold. So we're going to see just a brief warm-up. Then our shortwave trough comes out of Texas, and uh, there it comes on Wednesday. So I think because it's a little bit slower, uh, we don't have to worry about that threat. And much of the rain for the morning hours will be off to our west. And then in the afternoon, I think, is when we'll see our precipitation. Uh, the trough sharpens up just a little bit on Thursday as it comes across the Mississippi River, and uh, that should uh, help to give us uh, rain for Thursday morning and into the early afternoon hours uh, before the rain begins to exit the area. We dry out. Uh, although there is some wraparound moisture, uh, we dry out and cool off once again on the 1st. So uh, I, I would say with this, uh, we're probably going to keep in the chance for at least some, some snow flurries on January the 1st, 2010. Gosh, it's hard to believe 2009 is almost over. By Saturday, uh, that uh, trough is really wound up into a closed low. 
uh, centered over about New York City, uh, and that is creating quite a snowstorm up there again for those folks. But for us down here, you can see the 540 line down just a little south of uh, Birmingham in the vicinity of Tuscaloosa. So we're going to stay pretty chilly for the first couple of days. Uh, we're seeing a, a nice uh, short wave rotate around this big low just off the uh, New England coast, and we're going to see a reinforcing shot of colder air come uh, about uh, the third, fourth time frame. And you can see there the uh, on the third, the 540 line uh, noses down to around the Gulf Coast. So we're going to stay uh, certainly cold. And here comes that reinforcing shot once again, and, and that uh, pushes the 540 line all the way down into the northern Gulf as well. And that is Monday the 4th, uh, so we're going to be essentially dry for the start of uh, uh, 2010. And then by uh, Tuesday, a week from tomorrow, you can see that uh, as the surface high settles in, we're expected to be dry, but staying rather chilly. All right, now let's go ahead out into uh, Voodoo a little bit further. And here is 300 hours, and what does it show? On the 9th, it shows another uh, short wave coming across, and that's presenting another uh, surface low and the possibility of some wintry precipitation. So the, uh, the possibilities are still out there, and they're still on the table. And then at the end of the period, around the 12th, uh, we're briefly under a ridge as another uh, short wave comes out of the west. And once again, that will probably be developing something in the vicinity of uh, Texas or perhaps the northwestern Gulf, uh, but that's a little beyond the 12th. So indeed, the weather pattern staying quite active. Uh, and uh, uh, we are still going to be rather cold, but forecasting snow and getting the right conditions for that uh, are pretty uh, pretty tough in the southeastern United States. That's one of the reasons why we live here. All right, well, that's the uh, Weather Extreme video for this Monday. I'll have the next one posted around 8 or so tomorrow morning. In the meantime, I hope that you have a great Monday, and Godspeed. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things about home. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.